How does a river delta form? A river delta is a landform that forms at the mouth of a river where it meets a body of water, such as a lake, sea, or ocean. Deltas are typically composed of sedimentary deposits, including silt, sand, and clay, which are carried by the river and then deposited as the river's velocity decreases upon entering the larger body of water. The formation of a river delta is a complex process that involves various factors, including the characteristics of the river, the nature of the sediment, and the hydrodynamic conditions of the receiving basin. In this extensive explanation, we will explore the formation of a river delta in detail, discussing the key processes and factors involved. 1. Introduction to River Deltas A river delta is a triangular or fan-shaped landform that develops at the mouth of a river. It is created by the accumulation of sediment carried by the river as it flows into a larger body of water. Deltas are dynamic environments that constantly evolve due to various natural processes, including sediment deposition, erosion, and the influence of tides, currents, and waves. 2. River Characteristics The characteristics of the river play a crucial role in delta formation. Factors such as the river's volume, sediment load, gradient, and discharge influence how sediment is transported and deposited at the river mouth. The volume of water and sediment carried by the river is determined by factors like the size of the river's drainage basin, climate, geology, and vegetation cover. The river's gradient, or slope, affects the velocity of the water, which in turn affects sediment transport. 3. Sediment Transport and Deposition Sediment transport and deposition are fundamental processes in delta formation. Sediment, including silt, sand, and clay, is eroded from the river's upstream sources and transported downstream. As the river reaches the mouth, its velocity decreases due to the increasing influence of the larger body of water. This reduction in velocity leads to the deposition of sediment. Coarser particles, such as sand, are deposited closer to the river mouth, while finer particles, such as silt and clay, are carried further offshore. 4. Delta Types and Shapes Deltas can vary in size, shape, and complexity. The shape of a delta is influenced by factors like the river's discharge, sediment load, and the hydrodynamic conditions of the receiving basin. Deltas can be classified into several types, including arcuate, bird's foot, cuspate, and estuarine. Each type has distinct characteristics and is shaped by different environmental factors. 5. Influence of Tides, Currents, and Waves Tides, currents, and waves have a significant impact on delta formation. Tidal processes, such as tidal currents and tidal range, affect sediment transport and distribution within the delta. Strong tidal currents can create elongated, elongated, or irregularly shaped deltas. Wave action, influenced by factors like wind, fetch, and bathymetry, can erode or shape the delta's shoreline. 6. Human Impacts on Delta Formation Human activities, including dam construction, channelization, and land use changes, can significantly influence delta formation. Dams alter the natural flow regime, reducing sediment supply to the delta and causing erosion. Channelization and dredging can modify the river's morphology, altering sediment transport patterns and affecting delta development. 
Additionally, land use changes, such as deforestation and agriculture, can increase sediment runoff into the river, leading to changes in delta dynamics. 7. Delta Evolution and Change Deltas are dynamic landforms that constantly evolve over time. Natural processes, such as sea level change, sediment supply variations, and climate change, can impact delta evolution. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.